Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So we are doing our regular roundup of the most popular uh, blockchain games, looking at some of the metrics. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> um, it's been a pretty interesting uh, last couple of months, pretty interesting um, month. Uh, so we're looking at the uh, kind of up to April 2021. We're a bit into into um, May now, so I've, I've kind of extended it a little bit. So we've got numbers for five days into May. Um, but we can see here, um, everything pretty much... Uh, goes into insignificance <laughs> compared to Alien World, uh, Alien Worlds, um, which is this uh, idle mining game on the Wax blockchain, which is just blown up out of all proportions. So um, uh, this is looking at um, the uh, the daily activity. So this is looking at the daily number of daily uh, number of wallets, number of unique wallets interacting with these games every day. So that's our basic metric. Uh, we can see here. Um, there are a lot of games with, with well under um, with a couple of thousand really um, daily active unique wallets. There is one game, Upland, um, which is uh, we'll look at that in more detail, um, which is actually uh, in it. Uh, you know, it's actually sort of sort of a, a story that's being lost uh, because Alien World has just blown up so much. But Alien World has just has just gone through this this crazy inflection point and, and is growing, um, and uh, it is now peaking at 300,000. Actually, I've got, I've got a, another graph which is actually has actually today's data on it that we'll look at that in more detail. But this is the basic overall what's going on. Um, we can uh, look at this um, on a log scale. This makes it a bit easier to see what's going on. Log scale just means um, the, the vertical axis um, changes by a power of 10. So we go from 100 uh, wallets to 1,000 wallets to 10,000 wallets to 100,000 wallets. So um, it basically compresses the... Um, uh, the the vertical axis, so we can kind of see because we have some a lot of games here between ten thousand, uh, between one thousand and ten thousand, and that's kind of where most of the games are. We have one game here, um, Upland, which is kind of heading into uh, tens of thousands, and we have one game here, Alien Worlds, into hundreds of thousands uh, a day. So you can kind of see, you know, uh, Alien Worlds has basically come from zero. Obviously, only, only launched in December, um, has this very strong uh, kind of growth <laughs> kind of dynamic, and then the growth gets even even stronger. Um, so so crazy times. We'll look at that in a bit more detail. As I say, I mean, any other kind of um, in any other kind of situation, we'd be talking about the actually the amazing growth of Upland. So Upland is is a mobile game running on the uh, EOS blockchain. Because it's a mobile game, it's it sort of has these kind of slight weird restrictions about you have to buy kind of things through the App Store payment system. So Apple and Google um, only allow uh, the only payment system they allow is is through their own uh, kind of payment systems, and they take thirty percent uh, margin on that. Um, and obviously, they just want people to come in and be and be spending crypto uh, without going through their payment system. So, so Upland has this sort of hybrid kind of system, um, but it seems to be you know um, that doesn't seem to be a problem. So, you know, it's, it's been on this pretty steady kind of growth curve. It's no, it shows no signs of kind of um, kind of dropping off. It's, it's, it goes up and down sort of on a daily basis, but it's going you know steadily up. Um, and now, um, remember, this is daily activity. This isn't cumulative. This is daily, every day. What's going on here? So, heading up to thirty thousand daily uh, players. Um, compared to uh, uh, Alien Worlds, um, which I think we'll, which I'll, I'll discuss, um, has a lot of bots in it, uh, basically kind of robot players. Um, Upland, I think, is less likely to be botted, partly because you need mobile devices rather than just web browsers. Um, I'm sure you can still run bots on it, uh, but it doesn't quite have the same mechanic um, of, sort of, of sort of token farming that would encourage bots. Um, so I, I would imagine most of these are, are actually kind of uh, unique players. And, you know, in, in general, 30,000 daily active unique wallets uh, or players in a mobile game is not very much. There are many, many games with, with a million daily active users. Um, so th this is still small fry in the, in the games world, uh, but very good for a blockchain game. Uh, Upland is a monopoly type game, so you own property in, in, on a real world map. So basically at the moment it's San Francisco and New York are the, are the two areas and they're kind of expanding out, out there. And you can own property, you can kind of gain rent from that, um, that, that sort of stuff. It's actually quite deep mechanics going on there. See the other, other games here, Splinterlands, Prospectors, um, and Axie Infinity, not really much going on with those at the moment, although Axie Infinity has now rolled out its Rodian sidechain, so we, we're not actually tracking that at the moment. So, so there's probably lots of activity going on with Axie that we're not tracking. This is this is the main Ethereum mainnet that we're looking at here. And obviously activity is coming off, off the Ethereum mainnet and going onto the Rodian sidechain, so we'd expect to see Axie Infinity activity probably drop off. Okay. So let's look at Alien Worlds in a, in a bit more detail. So actually this is, um, this is a slightly updated graph um, um, from the one I actually had before. Um, I put in some more numbers to that graph um, today. Um, we can see here this sort of steady growth. This is this is um, a linear, um, not a log uh, axis here again. So 10,000 
sorry, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 daily active unique wallets. You can, and you can kind of see this kind of a steady, steady growth here. Um, and then it sort of accelerates and then they have this kind of like weird sort of, you know, this is the first time we see a big decline. So it goes from 300,000 to 200,000. Um, the, the game is putting in a lot of anti-bot measures. There's now kind of recapture on the WAX blockchain. So WAX is worried about spam on its blockchain. And it's put these recapture situations in to stop bots. And also uh, Alien Worlds as a, as a developer, um, they are uh, clearly doing um, anti-bot stuff as well. So it looks like they've banned accounts or, 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 or um, kind of re done something here. Um, of course, <laughs> it's just gone straight up again. So um, over 450,000 um, uh, account uh, wallets um, in a day. You know, this is this is this is getting to be big numbers. Um, the problem is we really can't tell how many how many real human beings there are behind this. Even real human beings are probably playing with um, or potentially playing with with with, with um, more, more than one account. At one point, I was playing with two accounts and I just got bored. It's just so boring. Um, uh, so I've, I only play with one account. But I hear anecdotally people are playing with um, you know five accounts and just kind of just kind of like farming all this all this token that they can then sell off. Who's buying the token? That's really what I don't know. I really can't understand who is buying um, who's buying these tokens. Um, but that's maybe a, a video for another day. So daily activity is still having this kind of incredible growth um, um, curve. <laughs> now, this is more interesting to see here is transactions per wallet. So this is how for, this is just doing a, a division. I'm not doing any clever kind of data analysis here. This is basically saying how many wallets are there interacting and how many transactions are there um, and just dividing the two. So this is sort of an average. Um, you know, um, but we can see here uh, before any bot, any, before any anti-bots kind of measures were put in, um, there was like about 300, 331 transactions per wallet. Um, so basically, every wallet was was basically because you know, in, in the game you mine this token, then you have to wait and then you remine. Um, so you basically, basically like an, we call it an idle game. You kind of hit something's happening in the game, you have to wait and come back and do it. So basically, bots were were doing this 300 times a day. Probably, probably impossible for a human being to do that unless all they were doing was doing that, um, and they get bored incredibly quickly. So, so we can see here as the anti-bot measures come in, this thing kind of collapses. The, no, the number of average transactions per wallet comes from three over three hundred down to um, about thirty, and it's now sort of down to about sort of twenty-ish. So, so we can see when the anti-bot measures came in, and we can see here that the, this is this seems more reasonable for a human being to be doing to be hitting mine sort of twenty times a day. Even that's a, quite a lot. I, I mean, I don't I don't think I do it more than ten. Probably, probably not even ten. I mean, I really, I'm really not really can't be bothered with this game um, in terms of making loads of money from it. Clearly, um, I'm quite interested in what's going to happen later on in the game when they release new features. But at the moment, it's it's um, yeah, not my not not my thing. But actually, let's have a look at this uh, graph in a bit more detail on a log scale. So this again um, compresses, so we can see a bit more detail. So we can see here um, when the anti-bot stuff came in and and, it, and the uh, number of transactions per wallet dropped um, a lot um, to forty and then um, thirty, and then it went up a little bit. Um, it was heading down again. Uh, interesting here that we can see um, there was quite a big jump. So on one day here, um, it went from an average of 20 to 40. Um, and then it's continued to go down now on 20. So this is, this is we can see, this is five days ago. Four, no, five days ago, that's right. So if we come back here, we can see one, two, three, four, five. So when, when there was this, this first time, there was a drop in the daily number of wallets. Um, uh, we, they're not obviously picked up again. Uh, but when there was that first drop, um, in the number of wallets, um, the number of transactions per wallet went up. So I'm not quite sure kind of what that means. Normally, if the if I think if the average number of transactions per wallet goes up, that means bots are coming in. Um, but obviously, the number of um, uh, the number of active wallets went down. Um, so, so again, you would kind of think if that was reducing the number of bots in the system <laughs> by anti-bot measures, it's kind of weird that the transactions have gone up. So I'm not quite sure why that would be the case. Um, I Yes, people could be really into this and doing it 40, doing 40 transactions a day. That would be a lot. That would kind of suggest to me people are doing this as a sort of a full time job and trying to kind of kind of token mine. Um, uh, and I guess you could do 40 a day. I mean, particularly it gets to get complicated now uh, because the if you have the if you don't spend any money on getting the good NFTs, um, so you, you can buy mining NFTs that are more powerful. But then the the um, the uh, time you have to wait is longer. So at the moment, I, I bought some. Not great NFTs, but some some you know, bit bit better than the um, than the default ones. Um, and my my time after wait in between mining is about forty minutes now. So so obviously I can only do you know twenty four hours. If I stayed up all the time and did divided by forty, um, I could do probably uh, probably about thirty thirty a, a day if I stayed up to do that. So I could do thirty transactions in my wallet. If you have the if you have the um, 
the default one so you basically get a very a very cheap um shovel i think to begin with um you don't you don't make you don't mine so much um token but you but you basically your your count your your um cooldown time is just in minutes so you're basically doing that lots of time so i guess this could be um uh because lots of lots of kind of uh, newbies have come in and they're doing lots of mining because they can do you could probably do that 40 in like a couple of hours maybe um so maybe that's what's going on here clearly clearly though the overall trend is down here so we're seeing average transactions per wallet is going down um and i think as i see that's mainly driven by taking bots out of the system um uh and uh yeah just something kind of in, in passing here so i thought it was interesting that we have this game prospectors it's been around for a long time it is again sort of an economic it's a wild wild west gold mining economic game um and this is the daily act, daily activity across two blockchains. So it runs on the Wax blockchain and the EOS blockchain. They're, they're very similar. The Wax blockchain is actually based on the EOS code. Um, so you can, it's very easy to run games across the two. Um, so we can see here um, in red, we have the EOS numbers uh, and in blue, we have the Wax. So there's always been more activity generally on the Wax than the EOS versions. Um, but what we can see here is is something that is measured is sort of, um, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't overplay this, but but clearly there's been a very strong uptick in prospectors from under 2000 to over 3000 daily active unique wallets. Um, and obviously prospectors is running on the wax blockchain. So it seems to be some sort of overspill from people playing um, may, maybe in between in between uh, playing uh, alien worlds and waiting for their, these time downs to happen. People, people are jumping into prospectors and playing that. I mean, clearly it's not very many if we've got 400,000 wallets um, playing uh, <laughs> playing alien worlds. We've got like you know an uptick of a of a, of a, a thousand or so in prospectors. Um, not not a big deal, uh, but, but something there. Just to know, I thought that was interesting. So keep an eye on that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching. A uh, long video uh, this week. There, there, there's just a lot of stuff going on. It is mainly alien worlds. I'm, I'm trying to spend a lot of time trying to get my head around what's going on. Um, you know, I don't want to be negative about the project. I think there's some very interesting stuff that's going on there. Um, but I do. I, 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 it doesn't quite join up for me at the moment. I, I can't see. Um, how all this mining of a token that is then dumped onto exchanges and then the price still goes up. Something not quite right. Um, so I shall look deeper. Obviously, it's clearly something I'm missing. Um, uh, but thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and see you again soon.